heard we needed better microphones. Better microphones? Better microphones. We have the new upgraded microphones today. You are whack. We've got a new setup. Hello, check. Check, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Can you hear me better? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? We have the Marshmallow 5000s um, today, uh, hopefully providing us with better audio. Hello, hello, Marshmallow. Why is it this cold hello? in June? Hello, hello. Why? It's not too bad. I'm freezing. And I have the new Vision Vision 9000 on right now. So we've got some upgrades today. Um, I just upgraded myself. The Marshmallow 5000 and the Vision Vision 5,000. You know what I did to upgrade? What? I put on a bra. Upgrade! Upgrade! Nice upgrade. Thank you. Cool. Well, cheers. Cheers. And I'm... welcome to the upgraded bar. Welcome to the upgraded <laughs> bar today. Yes, we've got some upgrades. I've got my Vision Vision 6000 on. And no, uh, legit. it's great. There, there is a new microphone Hello? set up. Hello, is there? Yeah? Is, is there a new microphone? Where? Is there? Well, we don't need to say where. I'm just letting people know so that... We're trying things. We're trying things. We're trying things. We're trying to work out um, what's better, what's going to work out the best. And I mean, I think these marshmallow microphones definitely... Um, and at the end, you can even eat them if you really want to. They are edible, mush edible <coughs> microphones. Edible mushrooms, eh? Edible microphones. Mm, yes. Nummy. But blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I spent all day today and most of the day yesterday trying to make a dress for the first time. Cool. How'd that go for you? Uh, frustrating at times. Uh, relaxing at times. See, okay. Oh, I got to keep my microphone I have myself. the mushroom. Oh, that's right. The microphone. It's, it's a, a mushroom. It's a marshmallow. Now. I know, but I said mushroom after you said mushroom. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, these are marshmallow microphones, and I always wanted a microphone on a stick, so this is pretty cool. Oh, can you put it in there? Where'd you... Oh, you stuck it in the side? Oh, that's kind of a good idea. There you go. Look at that. We've got microphone. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. And then you could just do this while you're talking. Because it clearly works better. And then you can just... No, I don't like that. It's bonked me in the head. It's great. But you killed Perfect. my story, so... No, you were making a dress. Keep going. You are making a dress today. Amanda is making a dress. Okay. And this is her first ask. one. She's gotta... been saying that she wanted to make a dress for years. I gotta ask, though. Now. See, now, now I've gone on a different track. So... A new track has opened up. I want to know if other people have this issue. Whenever I get interrupted in the middle of a story, I lose all desire to talk or <laughs> tell the story anymore. The thing about me is I'm really good at this. I'm really good at this. I'm really good at uh, coming in and interrupting generally mostly a lot of things so i'm gonna try to get you to put on your best amazingness and tell the story about your dress because it's pretty cool and i you, will tell the story you've been wanting to do it for a while try not to interrupt me anymore i won't i'll talk into the microphone over here by myself well, no, you, you, no, you can talk to me. You just don't interrupt my story. Okay, fine. Or this can be the Ian show. Okay, no, it's the Amanda show. I'm no. just, I'm, I'm a guest on the Amanda show. No, it's I'm the just, bar. I'm just a guest in the the Amanda experience. No. Okay, fair, fair. It's a shared experience. Anyway, I a storytelling I went journey. To make a dress. Now you tell something. So, what has been the most enjoyable experience of your dressmaking so far that you have come uh, into um, contact with in your journey of making your first dress ever? What has been the most enjoyable thing that you have found? Is it learning how to shape it? Is it the material selection? Is it the overall vibe? What's the most enjoyable thing you've had so far in your journey experience of making a dress? 
Um, possibility. Possibility. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. Yeah, okay. Possibility. That's cool. You know, that's because, cool. Because like I, I've been like you said, I've been saying for years that I've wanted to try doing this. Yeah. And I, for whatever reason, was afraid to. Okay. Um, I think mostly because I thought I had to use a sewing machine, and and sewing machines and me have not mm -hmm. been good friends over the years. Okay. And. Uh, so, in the spirit of 2023, I said, fuck it. And, yeah. And uh, I started doing it by hand. Cool. Which I think cool. most people would call me batshit crazy for. And well, I in mean. In some instances, yes, I consider myself batshit crazy. I don't know. Because the one kind of stitch, like the straightforward da -da 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 stitching is fine. But okay. there's okay. another type of stitch that is um a zigzag stitch because it has to be zigzaggy so that like the dress can can stretch and then go back into shape okay fair but to do a zigzag stitch in a s straight way is really hard huh. and i have fucked it up multiple times so the zigzag stitch pattern when you're making a dress is one of the um, trickier patterns that there is to accomplish, I guess, I, I don't suppose. Know. At least for me right now. But then again, I have no for experience real. with this. But you so. said the skirt part turned out pretty nice. I think so. So you said that when you were making the skirt part of the dress, it, uh, it seemed to pan out pretty well for you. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's pretty neat. In your first experience of trying to make a dress. Yeah. I hope mm. I have enough of the, 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 it's like a bit that goes around the, edges oh I fair. hope I have enough I okay hope I have enough. okay huh. interesting Scary. interesting and are you gonna be um because you have enough to make two so if this one goes well would you make the same style in the yeah. next one or yeah, would was, you try I was and thinking make about that today too like uh would you try and make a new version not yet it? not yet okay because I don't feel super confident okay yeah okay, i feel fair. like i'm still super learned oh, okay so cool. i, I cool. would make the same style with the different fabric oh okay but i need to get like more um of the bias tape oh okay which cool is like the trimming essentially i gotcha fair 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 well that's cool yeah. that's pretty sweet so that's what i've been doing yeah and listening to a lot about japanese culture and fashion and things Japanese culture is fascinating and they they're ahead of the world on a lot of things uh, but some things in Japan are a little bit behind maybe um, I you know found out that same-sex marriage is still being worked on in Japan yeah. they, they, they haven't quite um, officially legalized that a hundred percent there's a, a lot of progress being made in in Japan and uh, Japanese kind of culture towards same-sex marriage but it's not quite legal in 2023 yet um they are making good waves there from what i understand That's towards good. possibly pushing that forward in japan um you know like all kinds of big changes it does take time but something like that same-sex marriage i find personally you know it's it's something that's it should be you know, it's it's legalized everywhere, and I mean, I know there's a lot of back and forth on it, but I mean, it's not a bad thing. So, you know, it's not like this bad thing's trying to be legalized. Like, it's a very good natural thing. So, it just takes time to change, like, a lot of that, though, right? Yeah. So, uh, that's what I kind of learned um, about Japan a little bit, was that they don't have same-sex marriage I mean, I don't think right it's now. been that long since it's been legalized. In well, Canada. it was uh, one of those things. Yeah, I don't know exactly the timelines, but it's just interesting to see how, you know, the time changes, things like that. And, you know, in 2023, it's such an open time that things like that seem like commonplace that should be open everywhere. That, you know, sounds like a great thing, but, it, you know, it takes time for different places to change and japan maybe a little bit a little bit behind on that one but but ahead on a million other things i think it's because and i mean i'm only going by just my own thoughts here but i think it's because they're a very 
traditional type of country. Fair, fair, yeah. So yeah. maybe that's why. And I mean, I can understand the perspective of, you know, the traditional um, term of marriage, you know, and then when you say same-sex marriage, it, it's, it gets a little bit of a question mark there, right? So there's the traditional way of looking at things, new perspective of looking at things. So I can understand the, the different perspectives in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, it's a bit of an easy one, but changing laws and stuff is always tricky. Mm -hmm. So, you know, same-sex marriage is great. It's beautiful. It's amazing. But at the same time, to, to get that everywhere is, you know, it takes a bit of time for that to happen, sure. right? So it's kind of cool that, that, you know, they're they're still working on it. But they're, apparently they've made a lot of progress. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I think, you know, whenever that day comes for them in Japan, I feel like that's going to be a really big day. You know, 2023, maybe maybe it's the year. I don't know. Maybe maybe next year. Maybe. You know, maybe in a couple of years, you know. But yeah. I hope they get there. I hope they get there. I'm sure you know, they will. They will. It'll probably just take them a bit more time. You know, maybe a year, maybe two. You know, you got to kind of weigh it out. But... I feel like they'll get there. You know, they'll get there. You need to explain this get up to me. What get up? Okay, so... <laughs> yes, if you're wondering about my get up today. Um, I have on the new Vision Vision 5000. Or did I say 6000? It doesn't really matter. I'm making shit up. So, the new Vision Vision 6000, because the VR stuff is very uh, popular and they're coming out with new VR headsets... And because I'm probably not going to get an actual VR headset myself, I'm just improving with this one, um, the Vision Vision 5000, which is clearly just not a pair of snowboard goggles. But, you know, it's it's great. It's got great overlays and all kinds of things. Cool. And then I've also been feeling Hawaii vibes. So, because I'm also probably not going to Hawaii anytime soon, at least I can bring some vibes to the table. And because it's Pride Month, I've got on my favorite muscle tee, and I went with this. So this is the most awkward getup that I could probably come up with. But for some reason, I'm sure I'm probably pulling it off all right. So, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things that, yeah, this is called Ian Chic. And uh, it's, it's, you know, I, I've been told I can pull off some things that some people might not be able to. So, you know, I'm, cool. uh, I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. In the new Vision Vision 5000, if I press the buttons right, I can actually travel to Hawaii on the screen. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, you can do that through the glasses. I had to put down the microphone because mm. my hands are cold. That's okay. I won't bother you with this one. I has poor circulation. I won't bother you with this one. It's funny how our dressing for today went completely opposite. And I oh, just, yeah. I just kind of realized that. Very opposite. She's like black. She's black. I'm black. She's black. And I'm all over the place. Oh, I some color on my face. I'm all over the place. Some... I went pridey. I got the pan flag under my eye. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's good vibes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you have been putting a lot of time and congratulations after many years of saying you were going to do something. Today was the day that you did it. I told myself Today this was year the day. was going to be the year of me doing so, all the things that I said that I was going to do that I haven't done. I think 2023 so far, right. I think 2023 has felt like that. Um, I think there's been a lot of spring cleaning that has been done by many people to get rid of a lot of stuff that you probably just don't need anymore. That's kind of the energy that I felt a lot. Yeah. You know, cleaning out the cobwebs, getting rid of that stuff that you've just been holding we on to for room too long. For the first yeah, time. moving rooms around. Maybe you're Ever? moving your living room around. You're moving your bedroom around. You're making some changes. Oh, moving I'm also some wearing furniture. Pink. Move, move, oh, you got, you Sorry. got some pink. Yeah. I but 2023. Um, spring summer does feel like this big change is happening a lot of change in the air uh, moving things around getting rid of stuff you don't need anymore get rid of that you know sometimes the less is more approach is better you know it's kind of like one of those things right yeah that's on my to-do list i feel like the less is more approach it usually you know you get rid of stuff you don't need a lot of stuff keep what you want for our yard sale that we keep talking about yes <laughs> yeah, we'll do that eventually maybe one day uh maybe i don't know we'll see we'll see if it happens or not but we did finish our origami we did let's, we made the let's bat. jump into that we made that 
Okay, so we do it. at some point we tried to do this while doing one of these and it completely went failed. Uh, Big, not bad cool. Fail. Yeah, if you if you have been watching any of these, um, probably not, but anybody who has has seen us completely fail at this um origami thing that was a shitty tutorial though. and it was shitty. so we kind of found another way to do them that we, yeah that one we had first found was maybe not the best it but crap yeah um uh, but this nuts. new one that we found seemed to go better yeah so we did it we did it not here and then we brought it on but we managed to make them so that's pretty cool I said I was going to um, succeed, and I succeeded. Yeah, yeah. It took a bit of time, but we, we, we figured out how to fold paper, and that is a pretty incredible part of our lives. Um, I'm glad we know how to fold paper. Me too. You know, if there's some skills that you got to have in life, I think folding paper is uh, an absolute skill that you, you should have. Whatever way you can fold it or not fold it, I think that that is definitely a good a skill to have. Oh, huh? Yeah, that is the question. Mm. Is that the question? Let me ask the Vision Vision 5000. Is that the question? Oh, it looks like it's broken. This yeah. one's not coming back with any answers. Nope. I should have got the upgrade. Should have got the upgrade. Should have got the Not 6, getting 000. any answers from the 5000. Maybe if I get the 5000 Pro Plus, uh, Plus Pro Pro Plus, it'll it'll come up with better answers or something like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. But... At the same time, you know, things have been going good. No. I don't like eating raw marshmallow. We microwaved... So we microwaved what? some s'mores the other day. Oh my god. <laughs> and this this was a hack. Because normally when you microwave <laughs> s'mores, they turn into moosh balls. <laughs> Right? Because the mm -hmm. graham cracker gets all mushy. Best microphone ever. But if you use those cookies with the chocolate on them and like the graham cracker crust cookie. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that s'mores microwaved with the graham cracker cookie was better than an actual s'mores? Like on a fire? Yeah. Fuck no. No? No. Well, the microwaved one just can't compare to... Mm. Now, if you use the cookie s'more idea with the fire roast and marshmallow, that might be orgasmic. Oh, might be good. Yeah. Might the cookie good. s'more with the fire roast and marshmallow. My eyes and my that brain would be good. just that would be went... Good. <laughs> Do your eyes and brain shut down? Yeah. Yeah, they went meow, meow. That's okay. It happens. You've been focusing a lot today. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. What's one thing that you focus on that you feel like you could kind of improve at, um, like spending more time trying to figure out whether you're focusing too much or not enough on it? Uh. Can you rephrase that question? Like, say you're doing art, or say you're making a dress. Um, like, I'm just talking about taking more breaks and stuff while you're mm. doing things. Because you you and me both have the type of personality that when we start doing something, oh, yeah. we do it for like three hours, and then we were just too focused on it or something. Yeah. So what's a good technique to help you... I guess maybe that's a better way to put it. What's a good technique to help you when you have to focus on something... To not get too focused and then just get like too heady in it. Uh, I tried to do the alarm thing and that didn't work for me. But what does work somewhat is if I find whether it's like, um, like a playlist or a video or a movie or something... If it has, if that thing I'm listening to or half watching has a time limit, okay. when that thing ends, yeah. I find then that, that encourages me to take a break. So what I've been trying to do is find things that are like 45 minutes to an hour long. Mm. And then when that thing ends, then I get up and I move. Okay. Because 
Like, they say you only have to really avert your eyes for, like, 15 minutes or something. That's fair. So. So when you're focusing on something, you kind of set a timer maybe to help you get out of it. And then... You need something to help you realize how much time is passing. Fair, fair. Because when you're sewing with a needle... Uh, nice. Thank Good you. One. When you're sewing with a needle without a machine, you got to be so precise along that line doing that. Oh, fuck What no. did you call it again? What did you call the sew, the sew technique? Triples? Oh, triple the zig? zigzag stitch? Zigzag stitch. Ugh. Zigzag stitch. So when you're not doing such a precise zigzag stitch to a point where it's a half disaster, because this is one of the first zigzag stitches that you've ever done. It, yeah. Then, you know... Hey man, that's that's cool. It's just it's just cool that you're that you're able to do a zigzag pattern and you're also able to take breaks while you're doing it. That's I try. Cool. I wasn't very good at it today, but hmm. I don't, I don't I don't know why. But I wasn't. Oops. What happened? I hit it. That's okay. It'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. I think it's because I was doing something new, so, like, my, I guess, routine, for lack of a better word, wasn't mm. ingrained yet, because I'm, like, doing new thing. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Because, like, I think I was working on that thing for, like, five hours today, and I think I only took one break. You did go pretty hard on it. So. Yeah. It's going to look cute, though, when, when it's, I think it's so. coming around. I have it's faith. A cute, it's a cute dress. I have faith. Do you want to tell people what kind of pattern you have on it? It's Jurassic Park. Which is the 30th anniversary today! Happy 30th anniversary to Jurassic Park. The best movie ever made. Um, I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. And they are... Are they open something new you said somewhere, right? For the thir Is that down at Universal? Yeah, so at Universal Orlando, they have... Uh, 30th anniversary tribute store. Super cool. Um, and thankfully we have the internet so I can live vicariously through other people. Thank so, you for letting us live vicariously through other people internet. Yep. The so, strangest, coolest thing ever. It is the strangest, coolest thing ever. So I've been seeing all the cool shit that they have there and it's, it's cool shit. Like it's just, they got really creative with it. Okay. And, like, brought back a lot of retro shit. Nice. Like, that... Nice. Oh, like, just super nostalgic. Like, if you were a kid during that time when that movie got released, like, oh, like, just with all of the, like, retro colors of the red, green, and yellow popping up, and, like, they re-released some of the old, like, Topps collector's cards that they had back in the day. Nice. And, like, some of the toys that Mattel has been coming out with have been beautiful. And usually they're not. Usually they're pretty crappy. But gorgeous. And, like, some funny shit, too. Some funny dinosaur shit? Like... Some funny Jurassic Park shit? If... I don't usually want to buy the Mattel toys. I kind of, I don't know. I think it's because they usually look like turd. But Not a fan of how they look. Not usually. But the ones in this, um, I, I think it's the Hammond collection is what it is. The ones that are coming out for that are, are beautiful. They have like multi-articulated points and stuff. Like people are using them for paleo art. Like that's how good they are. That's cool. Yeah. So um, they came out with a set though and oh, I wanted it so bad, but <laughs> like... It, this one was a good one. It, it sold out in like 0. 0.3 this seconds. This one was a good one though and, is what you're trying to say. He, she's a bit pricey, yeah. but... I, I mean, I'm not complaining. It made perfect sense. But in any event, well, I guess so. it was of the scene when Rexy eats the lawyer on the toilet. Oh, nice. They made a toy of that? Yeah. They of, would make a toy of, Geraldo, of that scene. <laughs> like a little plastic Geraldo and the fucking T-Rex and the little toilet and the little stall. Like, nice. It was so nice. gold. Nice. That's awesome. It was fucking epic. <laughs> The moment I saw that, I just, like, my heart melted. 
And I was like, I love this so much. I love that someone at that toy company said we need to make this because I think fans have been wanting it for years. Oh my god, yeah, that's a great idea for a toy. Why not take the, one of the funniest, coolest parts of the movie and turn it into a toy? It was pretty great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, uh, you know, if if you would have told me they would have done that, I would have probably been like, oh, maybe not. But here we are, and they have it all created, so that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, it, that's pretty and cool. And, like, I've seen, because there's people out there now that are, uh, like, photographers, right? Yeah. And they'll they'll take their toys that they get and set them up as the scene for the movie and mm. then like take really good high quality pictures yeah yeah uh so i've seen people just coming up with such creative stuff with these cool. new toys and it's just it's it's cool yeah dude absolutely like absolutely of, um a lot of the bags that are coming out are really cool and like the stories from people yeah you know how much this movie has affected people's lives you know it's, it's cool. definitely um a journey of bringing forward some of the most interesting perspectives that you could imagine um within the world of these dinosaurs and every time I come into, um, you know, that story, uh, the Jurassic Park journey and expanding on the dinosaurs and what they do and how they do them. It's just always so interesting with how endless it is. It's like, it's so endless. I'm excited for... It's endless. Um, you could just make so many stories, so many things, so many adventures. Oh, it's yeah. just like, it's crazy. Oh, it's absolutely. Crazy. The world is endless. Mm. Um... Yeah. I I pre-ordered this because I feel like it's probably going to sell out. As you know, I do collect the films. You um, are a collector of thus. I have had multiple copies of the VHS back in the day. VHS. VH, VHS I is watched still it ruled. so much that it wore out. VHS has ruled the world until they wear out. And then, then they're still cool. I actually had to get multiple they're copies of out. the DVD because I wore it out, which I didn't even know was possible. You wore out a DVD? Yes. Only you could wear out a DVD, my friend. Yes. So they are coming out with the 30th anniversary collector's edition of 4K, Blu-ray, digital, yada, yada. Okay. Um, and this collector's edition... Is it awesome? It's beautiful. Like, not only do you get all six of the movies, yeah. but there's, like, this gorgeous behind-the-scenes book and stuff that comes along with it. There's lithographs. Nice. That's like, cool. Which is just, like, basically a shot from the movie on a really nice... Hells yeah, thing. absolutely. It's like a print. Yeah, it's like a print of the oh, scene from the movie. I can't remember what else comes with it, but... Some cool collector stuff. Are you hungry? No. I just like eating microphones. Well, I just got a cold shiver. Why? I don't know. So you got this as new collectors. It, I had to. Do you ever wear out a Blu-ray? No, that I have not done yet. Mm. I have not done that. You could find a way just with Jurassic Park to wear out the digital version. And I don't even know how you <laughs> can do that. That's like physically impossible. But you would figure I out would a, way. a way. Because life... Uh... Finds a way. You would find a way to corrupt the digital version because you're so hardcore. Ah, whoa. You would just watch it and it would be like, boop, 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 boop. It wouldn't work anymore because you watch it 6,000 times. You think it would get I old. could pull it up on the Vision Vision 5000 and watch I it right still, to the screen. I still get excited. Like, the, like, even the beginning of the movie where, like, the world of the universal thing is turning and, you know, it starts out with that. I secretly just want to eat marshmallows. That's okay. <laughs> no, I get excited about the movies too. I love, I love all the movies. They're great, and they're uh, they're super cool. Oh, are you gonna stick it in there and make it fly? Is that what we're doing here? Let's do that. Let's I make it know. fly. Can we put it in? Can we put it? What did you put it in the side? It's really thick. Can you put it through the wing? Just put it through the wing like this. Put through the wing. Yeah, but then he doesn't quite look like he's flying as well. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Yeah. 
It's not my vision. Well, it works for me. All right, folks, if you want to make your origami fly, look at this. I feel like I'm going to stab myself. We're making origami fly up in this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, how about this? See, this is why Ian can't bring in props. I could literally just do this for 50 minutes. Should I leave? No! I don't want to be stranded here without you. Bats. Bats are cool. Bats. We saw one the other day. That was a long time ago. That was like two days ago. Three weeks ago. Two days ago. We saw, well, we see more bats now than ever, which is great news. For a while, we didn't see any bats, but every now and then they will pop out. That's good. Something's, something's going right. <coughs> the frogs are coming back. The bats are coming back. If you're mm -hmm. a naturalist type of person, it's a good time. You know, I do... Except for all the wildfires. I do... Well, we are getting some rain. Oh, we are getting some rain, yes. so thank God for that. Yes. Some rain, you know, whoever has sent us some rain, thank you for a little bit of rain to cool off the dryness. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I try to be as environmentally conscious as possible. I don't know, as much as possible as I can. You do a good job. Um, yeah, I try. I mean, with different, every little thing adds up. So, you know, environmentally conscious actions and reactions and things you do and you no. don't do. And it all adds up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ride my bike a ton in the summer. So I'm always out there biking around and doing whatever. And so I'm trying to be more, I'm trying to live my life more environmentally conscious than ever, man. It's than important. literally ever my entire Good. life before now. Good. Because now is the time. Yeah. If there's anything that everybody should try to do is be a little bit more environmentally friendly. However you see it working out for you. Yeah. I know there's endless propagandas and ways that we can, you know, find things that work and don't work. But, I mean, if everybody does a little bit, you know it all what? adds up. It all adds up. Honestly, I've noticed... It all adds up. Um... I've noticed that businesses are starting to become more conscious of it, which is nice. Like environmentally conscious. Yeah, like uh, yeah. like Amazon is using smaller boxes and smaller boxes, recyclable bags when I can. Um, exactly. My frame today, because I got a frame. Um, you know how like the plexiglass yeah it yeah. has like the the film thing on it okay that you have yeah. To peel off. yeah yeah so normally those were just like i don't know some type of sticky plastic shit but now they're recyclable yay um, i'll spin to that yeah i'll spin to that a lot of at least a lot of um like small business people that I get things from have been using a lot of compostable um, nice. packaging and stuff. So nice. That's good. See, I'm creating wind energy right now. This is this is me creating wind energy because I'm too much of a dumbass to actually know how to make a wind turbine. So this is me creating the best wind turbine that I can because I, think you can I make a wind don't actually know how to make a real one because I'm a little too dumb for that. So here's my attempt at making a wind turbine. Woo! I don't believe you. I think you could do it. Woo! <laughs> yeah, there's some engineering things that I'm not too sure I could do, but you know, God bless the people that are more advanced in engineering than I am. You could if you applied yourself. I know. At the risk of sounding like a you know, you know I just like, there's so many things that I just don't want to apply myself to. <laughs> and I just don't know why. I'm not sure. I got, I got my vision, vision 5,000 though. So I'm going to, I'm going to work with this and see where we go. Cool. 
Yeah, it's my VR future. It's my VR. F do you think? Do you think VR will ever get to a point where it's cooler than uh, you know a lot of things? So you're going to spend like eight hours in your VR. Is that going to happen? Like, cooler are we going than what though? cooler than just like going for a walk in the bush? You're going to go for a walk oh, yeah. in the bush on your VR headset because you don't actually want to like, go for a walk in the bush. I think. Do you think VR can do that? I do. Maybe not for our generation, but I can see for like the generation after us, maybe, or maybe the generation yeah. after that. Where they're just stuck in VR well, from because like, they, like five. Like we didn't. Our really... millennials are kind, we're kind of like cuspy on technology. Yeah, we're cuspy. That's a good way to put it because like technology for us didn't really start becoming big until mm -hmm. well for me it was like the end of high school, beginning of college. So for you, it was yeah, probably, like same beginning of yeah, high school, I mean, yeah, mid exactly. high school, right? Both the so, same. I mean, yeah, only a couple years. So. I think now, like, kids are fucking born out of the womb with a VR head, head hand. pack on or some so, sort of eye watch monitoring them from day one or something. And, yeah. like, with, with, um, do, 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 what's the word I'm looking for with the things? Vision, on vision 5000. No, that's not it. What are you, what are you looking for? Well, if I knew what I was looking for, then you would already I would have not it. Be looking. You would already have it. That word with the thing and the thing, where the the things are graphic things, graphic art, visual, graphic art, visual technology, technology graphic we'll go art. With there. It's, graphic art, gr visual technology. I want to say AI, and that's not the right word. No, we're AI. You're Amanda. I'm Ian. We're, What's that we're, thing you're called? You're Amanda. I'm Ian. We're oh my AI. god! I feel really. I told you my brain melted. NFT. What? No. You don't want NFTs. No. You know when they make the things for video games and the movies and trailers. No. Um. Logos. Like digital animation. Digital animation? Where they do the things on the computer, like they do with Jurassic Park. They make the things. CGI? Thank you! Yes! CGI! I found the right letters! I found the right letters. You know, today's world does revolve around just finding the right letters. Well, it's because everything now is... You know, abbreviations are great, but there's too many. There's it's so like, many. It's so confusing. And no one tells you what they are. It's like, here's here's five new abbreviations, like, and you're just sitting there like, hello. How many times has I someone... I don't know what this abbreviation right? means. How like, many times has someone this? gone up to you and been like, so I had this conversation with the LRRF, and you're like, what's the LRRF? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you heard the SHH? It's like the what? Like, huh? Like, yeah, what? and then it's something super specific, and you're like, why the fuck would I know what that is? That's what I'm saying, though, right? And there's so many abbreviations now for things that you just got to be confused. Like, if you're not confused about something, like, there's so many abbreviations. abbreviations it's nutty. But you were going with CGI. You had yes, a thought about CGI. I did. I had a thought about CGI and how it is so good now. Mm. It's so realistic that at times I feel like it looks more like reality than reality does. That's if, true. If that makes sense. That's true. Um, it can. I think especially if you have like vision problems. I think most people have vision problems, but like if you wear glasses, yeah, or, or contact lenses, VR could be more real than real. I agree with you in you a know? way. Yeah, so it could be a if, pretty cool experience. If you're like in grade three or something, let's mm -hmm. say, and you need glasses, but your family or your teacher can't recognize that you need glasses mm -hmm. and then you're playing your VR game and like you can see the blades of grass and you can like mm -hmm. see all the little details and things well that's going to be more exciting to you than going for a walk because you can't see shit yeah right yeah I agree with you and I mean I think like you know, as much as it's been around for a while, I truly do feel like 2023 is just the start of this journey for all this stuff. Because, like, yeah, it's advanced and it's come a long way, sure. 
But it does feel like it's almost like still kind of like the start VR of it. is still relatively new. Yeah, I mean, retro, like, you know, like, relatively speaking, like, sure, absolutely. It's still, you know, being but developed so by, trippy. by oh. some some of the, you know, smartest people in the field it's of so VR trippy. to, to you know, push the limits of what it can and can't well, do. Well, the wild thing. And it is. It's really it's, neat. It's, it is. It is. It's fascinating. And, and, and I think, like, the cool thing for me personally is you can tell they're trying to make it fun and you can tell they're trying to make it useful for people, mm-hmm. you know, like, in a way. You know, because it's going to be fun. Sure, you can do a lot of fun stuff, but then useful a bit too, you know, which I think is ultimately cool. Well, too. they have scientists working on this. That's stuff, what I'm right? saying, like right? They, like they it's have so neat what you can do with people it. People who are who specialize in in neuroscience that are yeah. working on this on this VR technology because exactly. you need to understand how the human mind interprets things yeah, exactly. somewhat in mm-hmm. order to build that type of machinery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is cool. Like, I think VR ultimately can't just be 100% like, like a distraction to, like, your life. Like, I think if VR wants to become more part of our daily lives, it has to be way more geared towards usefulness than geared towards putting this thing on to distract us. Like, you know what I'm saying? But most things start out that way? Like, cell phones like, started out that way. I guess, yeah, I guess. There's yeah. always kind of, like, a bridge there that you have to find. But if you want VR to, you know, become more of a widespread, all-day all, all kind of everybody using it for different things, like, it's got to have that usefulness to it. And it's got to add something to your life. You know, whether it's teaching you something or, it, like, being fun is great. But if it's a distraction, I think people, that's how people get over things. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we need distractions from something sometimes, but we ultimately search for things that are useful. Yeah, because you eventually realize yeah. that it's a distraction. And you're like, yeah. well, okay, what am I distracting myself Yeah, th- from? is this taking away from my life or is this adding to my life? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what you got to break down. Am I wasting my time with this or is this is this adding something to my life experience here, right? Yep. So I think that's something that's still being hashed out. But I think the fun level and the usefulness level is definitely, you know, kind of come a long way. And I mean, the Vision Vision 5000 is great. So uh, this is a good start. This is a good start. I like this one myself. I am so glad Vision, people Vision can't 5, smell 000. my burps right now. Well, here, let me, let me clear the air here. Let me clear the air. Is let that me clear gross? Was that TMI? Let me clear the air. Speaking of abbreviations. I'm clearing the air with my windmill power. That looks like one of those pinwheels. I'm afraid that's gonna fly off. It probably is gonna fly off. It probably is. Well, I'm gonna. I might as well bring in my album of the week. Yeah, because my beer's almost done. Well, I ate our microphones. Our bats are flying. Um, So let's fly in to the album of the week. Which I don't even know. You didn't even tell me this week. I'm gonna speak in French. Oh fuck off. Just a little bit. You're probably gonna understand me. Pasque. La personne qui a le album de Louis vient de France. C'est okay. un DJ. C'est un DJ. On vient avec un DJ aujourd'hui. C'est Monsieur David Guetta avec le album de Louis. Mais j'ai pas l'album actually avec moi. J'ai pas le CD. Mais je veux shouter out David Guetta avec Pop Life, un album de 2007. Alors, il a fabriqué l'album Pop Life en 2007. Il um, y, y a beaucoup de chansons. Tu comprends? Est-ce que tu comprends? Uh, je parle en français. Alors, est-ce que tu comprends uh, un peu le français? Uh, tu, tu comprends un petit peu? Oui, un petit peu. So, uh, oui. De, uh, I forget the word you said. De, 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 de. De, il vient de France? Nope. Non? Non. Nope. Non. No. Le Pop Life. Non. De, avec David Guetta? Non. 2007. Yes. Oh, 2007. Oui. 2007? 2007. Tu sais pas c'est quoi 2007? 2007, c'est quoi ça? De... C'est, pas, c'est un année. C'est un année. C'est un année. Oui! Tu l'as trouvé. <laughs> tu l'as trouvé. Oui, See, 2007. You slow down and you think. 2007, c'est l'année 2007. Okay, so the album was made in 2007? Oui, c'est ça, c'est okay. ça. Il a fabriqué. Moi, je peux parler en français, toi, je veux parler en anglais. Okay, I'll Tu try. peux me traduire. I'm tu gonna, peux faire I'm ça. going to, uh, the word I am looking for is translate. 
Hey, c'est bon, c'est bon. Ok. Alors, il a fait l'album Pop Life en 2007. Il y a beaucoup de bien chansons sur l'album Pop Life. Uh, moi, There's lots of choices. Uh, il y a des bonnes chansons. Il y a des bonnes chansons. Uh, Ça fait bon ces chansons là. Good. Ça fait danser. Cheers. Ça fait danser les chansons. Dance. Chans what chanson? That I don't know. Song. Chanson, chanson song? song, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I didn't know that. I don't so, think I've ever heard that word before. So, chanson is weird. song. So, okay, chanson is song. You have good songs on the album. Okay, so, good songs so there's on good the songs album. on the album. Okay. So, you have good songs on the Pop Life with DJ David Guetta, who okay. has the album of the week. In 2007, 2007, 2007. my favorite song on this album is Joan of Arc. Is Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc, c'est un. Ça, c'est mon favori de cet album-là. C'est Joan of Arc, c'est mon chanson favori de Pop Life de David Guetta. Why is Joan of Arc your favorite song? Parce que j'aime la mélodie. Because he likes the melody. Puis, um, quand les um, vocales, ça hit, ça, ça fait le chanson popée. The vocals are uh, very. Poppy and 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 there's a word I'm looking for that is like um like it's 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 like a big hit. It's Yay! Pop, 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 pop. Bon, bon. Ouais, okay. ouais, high cool. five! High five! Thank, thank you. Oui, alors le chan <laughs> le chanson Joan of Arc c'est mon favori. Il y, a, il y a des autres. Um, Love is gone, c'est très bon ce des chanson là. Baby When the Lights, um, ça c'est un très bon chanson. Puis uh, Do Something Love, ça c'est un autre. Puis Never Take Away My Freedom, c'est un autre chanson. Il y, y en a de, des autres, mais ça c'est mes favoris de l'album Pop Life de 2007 David Guetta. Alright. Ouais, ouais, ça c'est l'album de la week. Puis moi je suis un gros fan de David Guetta. Je suis un big fan de David Guetta. Je um, écoute beaucoup de ses chansons depuis longtemps. He listens to a lot of his songs for a long time. C'est ça, c'est ça. Puis il, 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 um, il sait comment faire des chansons qui sont très bonnes et que tu peux danser pour tout le temps. Pour beaucoup de temps. Just, his, tu peux juste danser. He Puis c'est cool. dance to his songs for all time? C'est beau, c'est beau, c'est beau, c'est beau, okay. good enough, good okay. enough, good cool, enough. cool. Alors ça c'est très beau, so, ça c'est uh, l'album du week, puis um, si tu veux, um, David Guetta, il prêt, il prêt, um, or il fait des sets DJ uh, à Ibiza, so si tu veux aller regarder David Guetta faire des sets DJ à Ibiza. So he's playing his DJ set in Ibiza that you can watch. C'est ça, c'est ça. Are. Well, tu, je sais pas, tu no? peux aller là, puis tu peux aller là, puis tu peux le regarder là-bas. Alors si tu veux aller à, à Ibiza, you il have fait, to be in Ibiza je watch? pense que oui. Oui, you je so, pense yes. que oui. Okay. Je, je sais pas s'ils vont mettre sur des stream stream, mais, okay. mais si tu es là, il fait ça tout l'été, puis il va faire des sets à Ibiza, si tu veux. Oh, you lost me. So, he's playing in Ibiza, if you can make it there, oh, for okay. sure. Okay. And I don't know if they're going to be recording it, whatever. Okay. But gotcha. go to Ibiza and check out a set if you can. Um, yeah, cool. David Guetta is going to be playing. There's a lot of DJs playing out there. I know it's not close for us. I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be able to make it. But if you live a little bit closer um, and you can make it to Ibiza, there's a lot of DJs, a lot of cool oh. music uh, going on. Um, <coughs> I, uh, you just made me think because you were talking about traveling to Ibiza. So uh, I don't know if we're going to be doing a bar episode next week or not we'll pre-record one okay i'm going we i'm going to go <laughs> dig up some dinosaur bones because and hang out with cool people. we can record this whenever so we'll we'll have some fun we'll do something we'll figure it out okay but yeah she's going to find some dinosaurs speaking of the 30th year anniversary she's going to find some dinosaur bones herself. well i'm some people are actually going to go find them um maybe i will i don't know maybe i'll splurge cool, or man. i don't know if i can it might be sold out but anyway i am going to the us of a 
to go to a sauropod site, which is the long neck dinosaurs for you folks that don't know the fancy words. A long neck. Long neck. Long ah. neck. These guys. These guys. The ones in the trees in Jurassic Park that, you, that sneeze. Che trees that sneeze. Not the trees. The trees are sneezing. Ooh, the trees are sneezing. And a bunch of other stuff that's going to happen that I don't even know yet. The premiere of Why Dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Which I'm very excited because this documentary has been in the works for a few years now. Oh, simple, simple. Yeah. And I contributed some money. Elle a donné to them. un peu à and eux I have autres. Friends Elle a des amis. Who qui have been interviewed. Oh, or, on fait des interviews. Mm -hmm, that are ça. in the film. Oh, qui puis sont dans le so, film? Yeah. Tes amis? Yeah. Tu as des amis qui sont dans le film? Yeah. Oh, quand yeah. tu fait ça, ça, ça fait un peu de temps, ça. It was a little while ago? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, a, f a few years ago. So, uh, ça le fait un I peu de temps. I think they've been making it for five years or something? Cinq années, on fait ça. I think so. So, you les ont fait pour cinq années. Yeah, because wow. what ended up happening ça, was... Ça, c'est For, like... They were doing stuff for a couple of years, and then they realized... Deux années. How intensive it was going to be. C'est très intensive. So they had to um, take longer to get. Ça a pris un peu de temps qu'ils pensaient. And then also the pandemic happened. Yeah, there the virus. So they ran into a few snags. Un peu de problème, c'est correct. Ça arrive, ça. I don't know when it's going to be released to kind of ouais. like the general public. Ça dépend, on sait but... pas. Mais you're going to get to see the first show. Well, see, it was supposed to be the first show. Cool, man. But one of my friends who is in the film being interviewed, um, she isn't able to make it to Jurassic Fest, which is where I'm going, mm -hmm. uh, because she works for a museum and the mm. summer is the busiest time for that. It's just crazy so, busy. Yeah, so she's not able to travel. That's fair. Um, so they worked it out where they were able to show it to some of the museum staff. Oh, with her food, So cool. she would be able to see it. So she is going to be able to see it. Well, she saw it already. Oh, she already saw it? Yeah. Whoa! She said she cried. But she, she's like me. She cries over everything. Oh, il y a beaucoup d'émotions, ça. Il y a des bons, des bons émotions. Mm -hmm. ça, nous fait, ça nous fait des choses, les émotions, là. C'est un peu, un peu, ça n'arrive. C'est correct. C'est correct. <laughs> That was cute. Thanks. What's the cutest words you can say in French? Like, what, what cute words do you know, like, are just like a cute sentence that you know um, you can say pretty well? I don't know. I always thought it was cute when you when I would, like, tell kids to touch something gently. I'd be like, uh, well, first I would ask, but I'd probably say this wrong. I'd say, est-ce que tu veux toucher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they kind of like a fossil or something. Uh, no, it would be like a live insect. Usually. Like an insect? Yeah. Oh, do you and want then, to pet the scorpion? And then I'd say well, un not, droit. Not a scorpion, but I know. I say un droit, which means one finger. <laughs> and then they go do do. <laughs> That's how I speak. So, <laughs> nice. So would you do that for like millipedes and stuff, yep. or like yeah? Yep. So different insects. Yep, different insects. Nice. That's Millipede's cool. Millipede's not insect, but no, we won't get into I that. know. I... <laughs> She she irks me all the time on this. I have a thing. See, I'm I'm Nature way more problems. easy on what's insects, what's not. I'm not like as specific as you on your insect. -ness. Well, there's reasons behind it. Wow, well, but... I know. But That's those are cool. changing too. So. Well, ça c'est cool, ça. Uh, I always thought petit peu was a really. Un petit peu? Petit Just peu. a little bit? Yeah. Un petit peu. Ça yeah. c'est cool, un petit yeah. peu, un petit peu plus de ça, un petit peu moins de ça, un petit peu plus, un petit peu moins, un petit peu plus, un petit peu moins, un petit peu plus, un petit peu moins, un petit peu moins, et le grenouille mange le pamplemousse. Un dance. Uh, en danser. Et danser, uh, how do you say with? Danser avec. Avec une phoque. Danser avec une phoque. Phoque, in French, is seal. Oh, on devrait, uh, David Guetta devrait faire une chanson que ça dit danser avec un fuck. Yes. Il, il devrait, he should make a song that says, un danser avec un fuck. Danser avec un fuck. Danser avec un fuck. Danser avec un fuck. 
Danser avec une poque. Danser avec une poque. Danser avec une poque. 